Hello everyone, my name's Christian, or Krusty, or whatever you may want to call me. So today, um, I'm finally doing the second part of um, MC Pro Hosting tutorial, where I'm showing you how to upload your own weld to a server. Uh, so, first of all, I'll show you single player, just ignore the name of that. <laughs> uh, semen potato, so, um, yeah, so this is the world. So I'll show you that it is this world, because I'm going to chuck this torch down here I'm gonna put it as a Y and uh, and like a small little T but just yeah it doesn't look like it but you know what I mean you know I wonder what that could possibly mean oh, to YouTube anyway right so you can see that's everything that's there so then I just escape out of that save and quit the title now we minimize this it's actually better to probably cross it off so we'll quit game and then what we want to open is our roaming so once we've opened roaming, sorry it's opened in the other window we've got all this and we go to .minecraft so in .minecraft you find your saves file as usual um, we find the name of that one oh there it is, semen potato so there's semen potato and you actually want to open that oh you don't want to open that, you just want to go saves, sorry my apologies, you just want to go to saves. So, once you're in saves and you see that you've got semen potato, you want to download what is called a file transfer protocol. Um, I use FileZilla. Uh, you can just use, type in FileZilla into Google or you can click the link that will be hopefully posted in the comments if I remember, if I'm not stupid. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, yeah, I searched it up. What you going to do? And, um, yeah, so FileZilla, you just download what client matches yours, and so on. So I've already got it, so let's just open it up. Okay, this is the first window that opens up when you double click it. So, um, okay, so here it is. So, how you f first of all transfer to your, your files system on your MC Pro hosting website. So this is, I'll show you in full screen because it might get confusing. So this is the website MC Pro Hosting and then this is where you'll find your files so your FTP file access and as you can see it's everything that you've already got in there is there so you got your EULA and your logs and everything so that's stock standard things that are there alright so what we want to do is we want to update to this all the files now usually what happens if you try and update a folder here you go. So if you try and update a folder like normally, um, it's gonna it's gonna take a while first of all, and not just that, but it'll actually split up everything in the folder into files. So it'll only it'll only paste files in here, in this screen here. Sorry, follow the mouse. <laughs> so um, but we don't want that. We want the whole file as it is to be the name of the world, and we're actually gonna rename this to world. Actually, I'll just rename this to world 1.1 right, so where is it so we're going to rename to world 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 yeah and so there it is there um, and as you can see on the server routes actually I'll go to control panel uh, it's got the name of your world so if you click this uh, generally it's just world and it's it is sensitive on what how you've got your what's it called caps lock sensitive so if you've got a capital W on the name of your world um, it's not going to work it's going to just make its own world file so you make sure it's like that and you press save so you can actually have it called team and potato it doesn't change anything it just chooses what file it's chosen from um, so we have files are not that files are this files are and then we're going to open up MC Pro Hosting. We're going to go back into File Transfer Protocol. And um, up here where it says FTP Credentials. So that's how you log in. So I don't know where I'm going to have these blurred out. But first of all, you've got your IP here. So that's your host. So you copy those numbers. And you paste them there. And then your username. You copy that and you paste it there and 
next to username, obviously. And then you've got the port, which is 21, and then a password of your uh, login for your MC Pro Hosting. It's not going to do anything with it. It's just so that MC Pro Hosting allows you to log into their server. So you then want to type your password. And quick connect. Alright, so it's got everything that we saw in there before. It's got logs, spigot, server properties, and EULA. So everything that we saw in here is there. If we were to update from here, it's going to update in here. If we're going to update in here, it's going to update there. This is all you got to do. So then you open up your f your save, it saves, and you just drag it in there, drag and drop. And then, um, so that's only a small weld, so it's not going to take too long. So we'll just wait for that. So that's been done now. That's done. Weld's there. Um, and so that's all good. So we can either minimize it or cross it off. Doesn't really matter. And so that's transferred across. And as you can see, Weld's there. And it's, it tells you what date it was created. It's uploaded to the server and everything. All right. So you should know how to get to your IP from here. Not your IP, your server. So I'll just get on there first. Oh, right. Actually, before we do that, you actually have to start the server up. So the server's going to start up, and usually it's going to actually request that you go into Eula and you type true to say that you've accepted it. So, um, as I, like I was saying, you need to go to Eula uh, and you need to accept the Eula. So let's go to Eula. Oh, okay, so in Eula, where is Eula? You can, oh, you can go directly and you can set up text. So you type true to say that you accept their terms and conditions, and it's done. So then you go back to control panel, or wherever you want to go, and then you can start the server. So at the moment, you might find it takes a bit for the start, and it's because it's preparing spawn. Um, now, it usually shouldn't, but we'll see. Right, so in your Minecraft, you go to your server, so it says it's online, double click it, or whatever you want to do to it, however you get onto your servers, and here we are, we're on a server now. So, as you can see in the chest, the Y and the T is there, and everything's the same. And to prove it's the server, I'm going to place five torches down. I don't know why anyone would disbelieve that's the server. So I place five torches down. I'm going to press disconnect. I'm going to go single player. Same in potato. Also called weld now. And let's have a look. See? And we're back to the how we were when we got off. So there you go. So that's how you, up, you put on your own weld. So uh, there you go, guys. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope it was helpful. If not, I'll probably make one that was more clearer. Because I feel like sometimes I ramble on bits. So farewell. Please watch my series with my gaming. It's fun, guys. It's fucking fun, guys. It's fun. It's fun.